From the campus of the University of Texas at Dallas, the American Southwest Conference presents today's men's ma soccer title match between the UT Dallas Comets and the Hardin Simmons Cowboys. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Richardson, Texas. I'm Tom Doerr on a cloudy and cool Sunday afternoon, although it is a championship afternoon. One of these two teams will leave the field in just a few hours, crown the 2016 men's soccer championship for the American Southwest Conference. And these two teams, the UT Dallas Comets and the Hardin Simmons Cowboys, they have a lot of history. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes, but first, let's talk about how we got here. Primarily, the semifinal matches yesterday played here at Richardson and UT Dallas, and they were two grueling matches, both of them going through double overtime and into penalty kick shootouts. Let's start, though, with the UT Dallas Comets match. They got past Concordia of Texas, and it wasn't easy for them to do it. It was scoreless throughout double overtime. The entire game, they had trouble playing their style of football. Concordia made it really tough, played a very physical match against them. They were scoreless through double overtime when sophomore defender Hernan Ramos was able to net the winning penalty kick goal, and that was in the fifth round. The comments, like we talked about, really were thrown off their game for much of the day, trying to open up the field. They tried to spread the field. They were able to do it more in the second half and were able to get the game into overtime where they took control. They come into final play today without a loss in conference action. They are 10-0-1 in the conference. They haven't also lost on their home field where they're going to get to play this match in just a few minutes. They're 13 four and one overall. They're very comfortable here at home and they look to use that home field advantage to bring home another title. Over on the other side of the field, the Hardin Simmons Cowboys, they also played a very grueling match, a little bit different than the one that UT Dallas played, but it did go through double overtime and into the penalty kick shootout start in the second half when they fell behind to UT Tyler on a goal in the 77th minute of play. They battled. That, that served as kind of a wake-up call for the Cowboys, and they battled hard those last few minutes. Tanner Coffin, a name you're probably going to hear a lot of today for the Cowboys, scored the game-tying goal in the 90th minute. Less than 30 seconds left. And man, those fans for the Cowboys who came all the way from Abilene, that really erupted them and powered them, propelled them through the overtime where they dominated through that overtime play. It took two overtimes to get there before senior midfielder Laurent Matsud netted the winning penalty kick goal in the sixth round of the shootout. So the shootout itself went to extra kicks and therefore went to sudden death. They took them time also to play their physical style of play that they like to play, their physical position game of football, working off of those set pieces. In fact, the game time goal was scored off of a set piece, and that's going to be a key for Harden Simmons if they look for a win this afternoon. They come in as the number two seed. UT Dallas is the number one seed. The Hardin Simmons Cowboys is the number two seed. And they come in with a record, a conference record of eight, one, and two. Overall, they are 13, three, and two. All of their losses have come on the road. So home field advantage in this tournament could play a big role as we go forward. A couple other things to talk about. We talked about how these two teams have great familiarity with each other. They've met on this field for a title match before. That happened in 2014. Hardin Simmons came away from that, the victor, with a 2-0 score. These two teams also played earlier this season, back in September, at the end of September, a 1-1 draw. That game was at Hardin Simmons in Abilene. The X factor today, we talked about the players, we talked about the, 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 the history that these two teams have. The X factor could very well be the weather. We talked about how it's cloudy and cool. There is a light breeze that's starting to stir up here as the players are warming up. But behind that, there are some rain showers headed our way. It doesn't look like it's anything heavy or anything severe, but rain could play a major factor in how these two teams are able to position themselves and play the game of football this afternoon. The field is in great shape after two grueling matches yesterday. The grounds crew really did a great job overnight filling in some of the ruts, filling in some of the holes. So walking on the field this morning, it's been a... Uh, Certainly, it looks good, it feels good, and it should be an excellent title match. We got it all for you. So glad you're able to join us around the country and around the world on utdallas.com and the American Southwest Conference Network. It's a big title match between the UT Dallas Comets and the Hardin-Simmons Cowboys. We're coming back with starting lineups right after this.